All right, I'm going to just rip through this one here. And uh, remember, substitution method, not a single new thing. We're just putting into practice what we know, okay? Use the pause button and rewind on the YouTube and stuff for uh, assistance, okay? So, and email me if you really, if you want to, or just say hi. You know, I like that too. I, get, I love my fan mail, okay? As if I get fan mail. <sighs> to start, okay, first one. Get in terms of X or Y, okay. Uh, this one's already like this, so why don't I just, I'll do this. Easy. I will put this into the other equation. Put in other uh, equation. Okay, let's see. Three, that's x this time, so I will have to put it there in place of x. Okay, solve it out. Uh, distribution law must know. on both, I have to get rid of the minus 30 here, so I get 38y equals 38. I love it when it works out like that. It doesn't always work out to be a nice, good looking number. Sometimes it can be an ugly fraction. If it is an ugly fraction, if you ever get an ugly fraction when you're doing this, you might want to double check your work to be sure. Usually, you'll get good looking numbers. 38 is a good looking number, because it cancels out to 1. That's a really good looking number. Y is 1. Okay. We have an x and a y. We have a one number here. We have an ugly miss for this, so it's not good enough. Let's now put this, heck, we could put it in there. We could put it in there, or we could put it in there, or we could put it in there. It doesn't matter. We'll always get the same answer here. Uh, clean it up here. I'm going to put it in the first equation because the first one looks very easy. 3x y is 1 plus 2 times 1 equals 8. So uh, this is 3x plus 2 equals 8. I want to get rid of that. 3x equals 6. I'll line it up properly. Okay. Equal signs all in a row. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 2. Okay, my solution point is 2 and 1. x value of 2, y value of 1. Okay, so that means 2 and 1. This will, this will satisfy both equations. Let's check it out. Uh, 6 plus 2 equals 8. Check, okay. Checks out that one. Ooh, okay, and... Uh, 2 minus, oops, it doesn't matter if I use brackets or not, 2, 12, the y is 1, there's my y, there's minus 12. Yeah. Okay, 2 minus 12 equals minus 10, uh, clearly minus 10. Both of them check out. When we insert the solution, the crossover point in both equations, this one and this one here, they work out to be true, as I just showed you for the 1 and 2 there. Therefore, that verifies that this, in fact, is the right answer, okay? This, this, whole, this whole thing is about two steps. So, so to, don't, don't, let my, don't let my wizardry of the chalkboard fool you into making it seem like it's tough and fast and stuff. This is just, I whiz through this because it's the stuff that should be reviewed. What you need to learn about this stuff is substitution, all you're doing is putting something in terms of x or y, and then you stuff it in the other equation, that's it. And then you squeeze out an answer, and then you stuff that into another equation that you started with. I mean, that, that's it. So it's the one, two, three, you know, bang, bang, bang thing you need to know. The rest of this stuff, I mean, hey, you know, if it's review, I'm going to zip through that. 